spot. Absolutely. I mean, Adorable Dragon has just been on one all day. I thought that Dirty Chow was going to be the man to beat, but guess what? Someone went ahead and beat him. Oh, so yeah. Now we have AD in the winner's side. Dirty, Tri Dirty Chow trying to redeem himself, go into the loser's side of grand finals. But Hat has been on a tear ever since that loser's quarter, so you can't count him out. Oh, definitely, yeah. This is going to be a tough hill to climb, but we can't count out Hat yet. And as we've seen so far, they can do it. They definitely can do it. But it's going to be difficult, just like you said, Avian. All right. But without further ado, let's get this rocking. As we said, you see how that final is in the name? That means we're going to get a nice little first of three going on here. Plenty of adaptation. Plenty of extra games here from these players to decide who is going to be joining AD, Adorable Dragon, in that grand finals. Yeah, this is going to be so huge, especially with this first game, as we get to see these two try to make this pace in their favor as fast as they can, as efficiently as they can. Man, we already see that Dirty Chai is establishing a great lead here. Wants to try to get advantage of that positioning on Hat early, but if Hat's going to do anything, he's going to be able to find his way out of the corner and does so with ease. Goes for the counter. We're seeing a lot of those Whoa. counter conversions directly into the follow-up, no matter what happens. Really has been paying off here for Dirty Chai. Yeah, just be able to take the offensive so well and play around Hat. He needs to play this like unorthodox defense where it's like this really patient play mixed with like really, I'd say really smart, uh, like two L's or DP's or any, any way to try to be able to contest. Okay. All right, trying to find an opening right now. 30 seconds on the clock. A little bit of a meter lead here on Dirty Chai's part, but we know one hit could definitely do it on either side here. Oh, man. These matches have been so clutch here from Hat. Now able to get the conversion. Does he have it in him? And he sure does. Able to close out the first round in 80 seconds. You can already <laughs> tell that's going to be the pace of this match. All of these rounds are going to go to the distance. It's crazy. Hat just has a way of, like, playing the game. It looks so fast, but, like, it's so like methodical it's so patient and it really just like grinds on you it really just takes all the energy out of you and if you can manage to hold that against an opponent you can just whittle them down to your basically content oh, absolutely i mean if you look at how it's been working out here for hat i mean even though that round did end up going in the favor of 30 chai one interaction away from greatness Right now has the slight health advantage and should be able to push this here if he's able to make Dirty Chai make those mistakes like he was in the last round. Yeah, going to do everything they can to try to basically take this position and walk away with it. I love that patience here, Hat. Able to do the most of every single hit here. And now having Dirty Chai locked down in this position, this is where Hat's going to shine. The oh throw. My goodness. See, that's what I was talking about before. But now Dirty Chai not even going to let me get the spiel out. Just wants to go ahead, get the conversion immediately in there. Goes for the mix-up, but a BC from Hat is going to prevent any further damage. Yeah, this is scary, though. No oh. Oh. BC, no BP. What are you going to do? That's just going to kill you. Plus six, by the way. You can't block it. <laughs> you can't do anything about it. Oh, man. There's no response. You just got to hold the plus frames. And Dirty Chai says, you know what? Not only are you going to hold the plus friends, I'm going to hold them like a baby because they just carried me all the way to this first game here of the Losers Finals. Yeah, this is big. Like we said, this is a first to three, so we do have a, a lot of room to grow. But Dirty Try has already shown that they were able to take the momentum, especially in this first game here, uh, with them in full steam, even despite the way the pace of this game is going. Oh, whoa. Go. I go. Yeah, I really like that, actually. Dirty Try unfazed, though. I can't reversal for his trouble, but still in this game, no problem. Man, that's such a brave jab on wake up there by Dirty <laughs> Chai, man. Like, I feel like had if any of the players in this bracket has been the one to make you pay for some of those really lazy jabs. But if Dirty Chai can get away with it, then you know what? Like, they got it. They know something that I know. Yeah, no, there, there, there is something here that we're definitely missing out Ooh. here. There we go. Going to get the conversion, though. Mm -hmm. No problem. Has so much to spend. Oh! Once again, the drop coming out here. This is so awkward. If Pat does get a hit, it can spell disaster for Dirty Chai. It, man, Dirty Chai got the win there. He gets it once again, but calls it out with the SSBA. What a smart play by Hat, and that's going to just go ahead and kill. <laughs> that drop combo is your downfall. Oh, man, how many times have you heard that before? You, oh you, my miss, gosh. you miss like a 2U, you miss like a, a connecting to Super, you miss like a, a 4M link or something like that, and then you just die later, and it's 
just like, man, what do I do? My goodness gracious, here comes Hat now. Really show that they have the momentum now. Gets the trip there. No response coming out here from 30 time. Look at the damage coming out here. But the low low cost of oh, one BP. Yeah, look at this. And now 75 seconds on the clock coming in. Full health, full meter, and 30 try. Not a lot to spare here. Gonna have to play super patient if they want to find their way out. It doesn't get punished, but actually does keep and swap the corner. Trying to get those cooldowns off of the works. Man, oh. and now can't block any ship. Has to be in control this entire time. But ends up getting hit by that EX. And now the score is tied up one to one once yeah. again. I think Hat has found the key. I think Hat has found in which way they want to approach this matchup to try to contest 30, 30 Chai in a way that's basically like, it's almost impossible to read. But it's up to Dirty Chai to try to change the mold, to try to change the way that they're approaching this to find out, uh, to find some opportunity to grow here. Uh-oh, gets the jab out here. Hat once again showing that he's got it. All right, we have to see a full combo here. This knockdown here. One more time, getting the stack on the table here. It's going to be such a boon for Hat. Ooh, I love that. I love when, especially when Versusia players try and faint out with that extremely long dash grab. I was like, all right, well, I see that this, there's this extremely long startup. Yeah. Let me just go ahead and check it. Oh, totally. And then immediately after that, you can cancel your momentum, get some great counter hit confirms, and Hat has been doing that to perfection here in this bracket. All right, here we go. Dirty Chai has a chance to front load a bunch of this damage here as we get the wind down the lock. This is a good spot to be in. I mean, I know I'd love to be in this spot if I'm Dirty Chai. Pretty much one more mix up, one more throw even should be able to take it. All right, a little bit of a scramble gives Hat some room to breathe, but Dirty Chai still in a pretty okay position here. Not a lot of meter to kill, but even still two knockdowns or one really good combo as you build meter can definitely spell victory here for you. Just like that, the counter and the follow up work out in Dirty Chai's favor. Yeah, there we go. Gonna go ahead and take the first round of game number three. Good stuff to Dirty Chai, but as we've seen from Hat, Nowhere near out of it, has plenty more left in the tank despite playing through all of these rounds in a row. Like, that's how you get here in the first place, man. You just show up and you don't have that quit in you. Yeah, you, you just gotta think of it like that. Like, just one more round, just one more round, just one more round. Because, you know, there's a whole other opponent on the other side of the bracket that you still gotta deal with. But we're not there yet. We gotta worry about 30 try. The thing in front of you right now. Exactly. what you like, can do. Like, this should be your number one priority. It should be your only priority right now is the very calm espresso and tea-filled drink <laughs> in front of you. That's all you got. All right, here we go. Dirty Chai has a chance to get some offense. I like how Hat's playing super patiently. The orb to go in get, does close the gap a little bit, but does get clipped here. So there's going to be a nice amount of damage for Dirty Chai to even up this gap and potentially take this game three, but not quite. Still has a little bit to go. Yeah, I like that. You know, just play around the BP economy. Give one, take one, just like those little tries over there at the 7-Eleven. Whoa. And uh -oh. Dirty Shy getting a taste of his own medicine. The jump out here, that's going <gasps> to hurt. That's going to kill. Not only hurt, but that's going to be <laughs> Hat on the way out. Fire the space laser at him. Yeah, and just as we said, like Dirty Shy had an opportunity to seal the deal there. But then the shoe just went on the other foot, and Hat was able to make the most... Especially in these positions where it's like, there's no way you could win that. You have no HP and like a little bit of resource, sure. But nah, just to be able to get the perfect confirm there and, and seal the deal. It was awesome. Yeah, good stuff to have once again. It's like you really can't count them out of any of these rounds until mm -hmm. that down is said by the announcer. Oh yeah, you gotta be real careful against both of these uh, players right now. 30 Chai right now though, this is gonna definitely hurt. And I don't know how you're gonna deal with this. Susie in your face. Uh-oh. All right, holding up right now, no problem there. Dirty Chai is slowly working their way to mid-screen. Hat trying to find a way to keep them contained, but this BC trade is going to work out for Dirty Chai, even though the resources are starting to look a little bit thin in terms of that BP. Yeah, it's like, I mean, Hat is out here like, you know what, I'm going to show you what happens if you mismanage oh. that BP against me. Look at the damage coming out here. Alexa go into the buff instead. Yeah, only needs one more. Wants to secure that. Doesn't want to play anything Ooh. crazy. <laughs> I want to come in there and seal that game in their favor. Still got more to play, though. But one more hurdle. One more round. One more game. To get it one step at a time. Nah, Hat is on something different right now. It feels like all of these games 
are in such scary spots, but the moment that Hat's like, you know what, let me just make sure that I lock in, because I really want to make sure grab another guaranteed second place here. It has been incredible here. Dirty Chai, a, a player who has been oh so hot going into the set right now, now is on the back foot for oh. the first time what feels like a long shot. Yeah, this is a really good spot for Dirty Chai to build some momentum. Love the walk back there into that 2H. Not able to steal the deal, but still in a great spot. Hat trying to weave their way out. Pillar, Orb, but nothing, no confirmed just yet. And Dirty Chai willing to spend a little bit to try to basically keep this lead going. Uh-oh. I love that. Go for the EX skill. And the SSBA Whoa. once again! But hit. only doing the last hit there. It's not going to get the cinematic. Yeah, big. And now in the corner. Love that. Actually, just Why? was that far M? I don't even know what that was. That was but, just like a jab. Yeah, just straight up, I guess. Yeah, just able to challenge it so well. Yeah, like I said, it's like Dirty Chai is... Uh, he has one of the more interesting play styles in regards to his wake-up options. Loves that jab a lot. Mm -hmm. And it ends up paying off for him there. Yeah, doing a great job of being able to deal with Hat's offense right now. Right now, even in these awkward spots where it's like you have orb killers being such a dominant threat, it with the weave, and especially not relying on thrust, because I think that's one thing that Hat is super comfortable dealing with, is like using pillar to try to basically be like, this is a no-fly zone, you can't touch this. But they're just walking out. Oh my oh. goodness. Insane here. Should be able to get a little bit. Yeah, there it's you go. Dead. Oh my god. Bye bye, Dirty Jai. Oh my goodness. Now, Hat sitting at set point. All right, needs to lock in just like one more round, take it one step at a time here. He wants a chance at fighting Adorable Dragon. Man, it was looking prime there for Dirty Chai, but now Hat just seems to have found the secret formula. Now able to capitalize on all of these mistakes by Dirty Chai, trying to go ahead, close this out, secure that loser side of Grand Finals, and he is doing a doggone good job of it as well. Oh yeah, just chipping away at you, man. Over the course of this game, over the course of these sets, just trying to find any weakness, any opportunity, and made the most out of it. This hit is going to be huge. With a cash out into SBA, not going to kill, but it's going to put you in a great spot. Or you know what? Oh, SBA, it's looking a little oh, wrong. Uh -oh. Will it kill here? And it's enough. Hat is going to secure his spot in Grand. But can't rest quite yet. Hat, although coming off that 3-1, still has one more hurdle.